Hey everybody. So I wanted to come on here and do my nine week update. Um, I'm in my car. I'm on my lunch break and I just figured I have some time so I figured I might as well do it. I don't know if you can tell it's a rainy, gloomy, nasty day out today. And yeah. So um, <clears throat> today I am nine weeks and one day. Sorry. I turned nine weeks yesterday. And I just can't believe I've made it this far. And um, it just seems to be going by fast, which is good. Um, I'm sure I won't be thinking that, like, you know, when I have a few weeks until I'm due or whatever. But I'm excited. I just want to get past the first trimester and then it can slow down. I just want to, like, feel, like, safe. <clears throat> like, I'm excited, but I still have my reservations. <clears throat> if that, is that the right word? Reservations? Um, I guess doubts. <clears throat> um... Nothing has happened to make me think anything bad, but, you know, it's, <clears throat> especially it just, I don't know if it's because I've had a miscarriage or if everybody thinks this way, but I still have, like, that feeling deep down inside of me that's like, this is too good to be true, there's no way, but, <clears throat> I don't know, I guess we'll see. Um, I don't have another appointment for, like, three weeks. <clears throat> I'll be 12 weeks in two days, so... I have a little ways to go for that, um, so that's a little nerve-wracking, but it's still exciting. At that point, when we see our baby, it'll actually look like a baby, which is really exciting to think, though, versus what we saw the last time. Um, so, as far as this week goes, I must have jinxed myself or something. Um, the last vlog I did, I said that I was getting nauseous, but I wasn't throwing up. Well, literally, like, that same day that I made that video, I threw up. And I threw up the night before last, too. So, I've only thrown up twice, which obviously is better compared to a lot of people, but it still sucks. And, sorry, I'm just adjusting. Um... Yeah, it's better than some people who can't keep anything down, so I'm grateful for that, but it does suck. And uh, even though, like, I did feel better for, like, right after, because obviously I didn't feel nauseous anymore, um, I still just felt like crap altogether. Like, it made my throat hurt, and, like, the first time I threw up, because I hadn't thrown up in so long, like, that's just not something people normally do, I, um, my whole body just hurt for, like, two days straight like I felt like somebody beat the crap out of me and I couldn't figure out what it was and then I realized so yeah um as you can see my face it was fine and then it just broke out again so I have it's so gross and painful so 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 annoying um what else I'm still really tired um not I don't seem to be as tired but like, we stayed up late last night till like, midnight, which I hate myself for doing. Every time we do that, like, the next morning, I'm like, why? Why did I stay up so late? I have no idea. It's so annoying. Um, I don't have any cravings, really. Uh, nothing sounds good to me, though. I eat because I know that I have to eat, obviously. And if I start getting hungry and I don't eat, I start getting nauseous and start gagging. So... I basically just grab for whatever I see, which can be a bad thing sometimes because if it's only junk around, I grab junk. So, that kind of sucks. Um, like, yesterday, we didn't actually have, like, any meals at all. Like, my husband worked yesterday until 2.30, and I wasn't feeling that great, so I had some soup, but then I kind of, like, ate crap for the rest of the day. Like, I didn't actually sit down and have a meal. Like, we didn't have dinner or anything like that. We just kind of ate whatever. Um, which, I don't know. I was feeling really sick last night. I thought that I was going to throw up, but I didn't, thank God. Um, I'm still having heartburn problems. Um, I don't know what to do to get rid of it. I mean, like I said, chewing gum, but you get tired of chewing gum. I am not a huge chew gum chewer. Um, so... That gets annoying after a while. Um, these are the Preggy Pop drop things that <sighs> somebody else told me about these. I actually bought these for my friend when she was pregnant last year. Um, but this is what they look like. And they're just like little 
candies. <clears throat> and they're not, they don't taste that bad. They're sour. And I guess that's what makes them work. This was $4.99 at My Babies Are Us. <clears throat> So, if you guys are feeling nauseous, they do kind of help. I will admit, though, I feel like they help while you're eating it. And then when you eat it, like when it's gone, you might start feeling nauseous again. So, that's not cool. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Other than that, it's pretty much it for, like, symptoms and stuff. Not really a whole lot going on. Just still feeling nauseous every now and then. And the heartburn and, and obviously my face. Um, I bit, did purchase a few things. Not really, like baby stuff more like pregnancy stuff um the first thing I got was some belly bands <clears throat> I ordered them on Amazon I don't know what brand they are I don't remember um because I'm not at home or else I'd show them to you but <clears throat> there was a it was came with two it was a black one and a white one they come in like three or four different sizes so that's kind of cool um <laughs> I lost my train of thought um this pregnancy is definitely making me stupid. Like, some of the things I say or forget, I'm just like, what is wrong with me? Um, hmm. So, yeah, they were like, I got two of them. I think the total was like 35 bucks, which to me isn't that bad. Because if you look at them in the stores, um, for one of them, it's that much. So, And I can wear them over any pair of pants. And it just kind of looks like a tank top hanging out, um, like which a lot of people do anyway. And um, I'm glad I got a black one and a white one because I can wear it to work. Because I seem to wear a lot of black to work. I don't know why. Um, I just do... What else did I buy? I bought a bathing suit. A maternity bathing suit. It doesn't look obviously maternity, so that's cool. I might, like, you know, be able to wear it after I'm pregnant. Um, because I am... Not a small person to begin with. Um, <laughs> I got it from Old Navy. And I think it was on sale. Um, yeah. I think the top was like 17 and the bottoms were 24. Which sounds backwards. So maybe I have it wrong. But anyways, it's really cute. Um, my my in-laws who live walking distance around the corner from us. Um, they have a built-in pool or in-ground pool. So I intend on taking full advantage of that this summer. Because... Um, exercise is good for you while you're pregnant and swimming is one of the only exercises I like because you don't sweat and I hate sweating. Sorry. I'm just trying to like, oh, I guess I shouldn't lean. Um, so I intend on, sorry, someone just parked. <laughs> I tend on sw swimming a lot this summer and I read somewhere, um, where that, you know, being active and exercising and stuff. It actually will help you during your labor experience. And I don't know why. I mean, I think I read why, but I don't remember the reasoning. Um, so, yeah. Obviously, I want our labor and delivery to go as smooth as possible. So, um, that's exciting. And the last thing I bought was a Doppler. I bought the Sana Line B 3 megahertz Doppler. I don't have it yet. I actually ordered it Friday morning, and it's being delivered today. It's Monday. Which is amazing. It was like 56 bucks, And I think the website I got it off was. Fetaldoppler.com or something like that. I'll show you guys if you're interested. And there's tons of reviews on YouTube about it. And some people were finding the heartbeat at like 7 weeks. A lot of them were around 9. So hopefully I'll be able to hear it. Um, because I'm on the heavier side. I guess I might have a problem. I could have a problem, I guess. So, I'm not going to panic if I don't find it. But I know I'm going to want to use it as soon as I get it today. So, yeah. Um, I'm trying to make this quick. I only have three more minutes of my lunch. Um, there was something I wanted to tell you guys. I don't remember. Doppler, Doppler. Yeah, I'll do, um, I'll show you guys what it looks like when I get it. What else was I trying to say? Man. Oh, I don't, I don't think this is what it was, but I've been looking into cloth diapering only while we're at home just to save money. Um, cause you know, you want to be able to save money wherever you can. And let me just tell you guys, like between YouTube and just different websites, oh my God, it's so overwhelming. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, 
I was just going to buy a few and just see what, you know, what I got and you know, we're going to go from there. But I feel like you can't really figure out what works for you until you have your baby. And I don't, obviously don't want to wait till that long. So I don't know. And I really don't know what I was trying to tell you guys. It was something. I don't want to sit here in silence. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys this. I'm in a wedding in November. And I'm due in December. So I'm going to be like almost eight months pregnant in a wedding. So I'm not looking forward to that. So I have to find a bridesmaid's dress that's going to fit me. Now, how am I supposed to figure that out is beyond me because... It's from David's Bridal, and I'm being told, oh, it's so ugly. I'm being told that I need to order it, you know, in advance. So, I don't know when I should order it. I was thinking, like, September, but I don't know if that's enough time. <sighs> my cousin, it's my cousin's wedding. I'm her matron of honor, and her sister's her maid of honor, and she ordered her dress in, like, March, her bridesmaid's dress, and she hasn't gotten it yet. She's not getting it until June. So, I don't know what to do. If you guys have any advice, let me know. The color is plum. So I don't know if I can find a dress somewhere else that looks like a bridesmaid's dress and plum that will like fit a pregnant lady, but yeah. If you guys have any information, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'm gonna go for now because now I'm just rambling and I'm not making any sense probably and I have to go back in to work. So with that said, I will talk to you ladies later. Hopefully I'll make a video on time next week and yeah. Hope you're all well. Bye.